Oh, good morning guys. It's a beautiful day here in Bailong. It's actually a very chilly morning. It's kind of reminded me of a New Zealand winter. Carly's shivering, so yeah. Um, today we've got quite a bit going on. Um, first things first though is a coffee. And then we'll get on the road very shortly and we're making our way to Mudgee, Mudgee today. And then, yeah, we've got a, quite a lot to see along the way. Kylie's got quite an itinerary for us of things to do and see along the way. And today's going to be mainly focused on what it's like travelling with a dog. So, it's going to be all about chaos today. What we do with him, how we get in and out of places, where he goes, where he sleeps. Pretty much everything in a typical day of chaos. With a little bit of us. First Your of turn. all... <laughs> morning poo. <laughs> so we normally um, have him off lead if we're at a campground that there's not really many people around and there's no wildlife. Um, so there's nobody here today. So he just stays around our camp and yeah we'll go pick up the poo don't worry we're not just gonna leave it there. <laughs> um, no we're not those campers. No I hate those campers. It's not that hard to pick up after your dog. Just do it. But yeah, we're gonna take you along for the day. Like Regan said, I've got a few things planned and I'm really excited for them. It's something we haven't done on the channel yet. So, gonna kind of be tourists, but... It involves food and beverages. It does. So, we'll take you guys along. Chaos. Good day. So Chaos has this little ritual before he gets in the car. One collar comes off, he knows exactly what's going on. And you pull out his favourite little thing. Yep. Good boy. And then we clip him in. He's got a little doggy. Doggy seat belt. And then he just lays down in there. So for us, um, safety is a big deal. Um, but for us driving around all the time, we wanted to have something in case the worst was to ever happen. So we have a little lead that hooks into the seat uh, underneath the headrest so it can't come off. And then it clips onto his harness. So God forbid something bad did happen, uh, that would pull him back and he wouldn't go flying outside the vehicle. So. Nice and safe in there. So there actually wasn't too much in Ralston, Ralston. Um, yeah, there's just a few old buildings that were quite nice though. So we've just come about six k's down the road to the town of Candos. And yeah, it's a really cool old feel to the town. Just stopped in at the park and we're going to go drive around the rest of the place. So try and give Chaos a walk to wherever we go. Um, let him outstretch his legs. So he just went for a walk, see around. Didn't need to do his business, so that was a bonus. Nothing to pick up here. And now he's just going to look out the window. Let down from. High Valley Mudgy Cheese Co. Um, now they've got a little pop-up shop and you can have cheese tastings. So the cheese tasting was free um, and then we bought ourselves a little jar of feta that was just to die for mm, and a little... The smoothest feta yeah. that I've oh, ever man. had in my mouth. So tasty yeah. and um, a little wedge of cheese. So we spent $23 on two of those which I think is actually pretty well priced for a nice cheese. 
Yeah, for like your higher end cheese. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So the place is actually dog friend friendly, but um, I'll just quickly show you through the window that it's actually just right there on the outside of the building. So we decided to just leave um, Chaos, Chaos in, in the, the car. car. Um, he was just happy sleeping in the back. And now we're going to head off to the Baker Williams Distillery. Now, they're also pet friendly, and I just gave them a call to double check because I thought that that was so bizarre that we can go do a tasting and um, take our dog, but we can. They actually prefer it when we take dogs. So <laughs> we're going to go check that one out, and hopefully we can take you guys along with us. Mojito style is also incredibly popular. Some smash meat in this, some ice. The leather myrtle, we use the dried leaves from the Australian native plant. We do what's called a vapour infusion. It's a lot by itself, so quite marmalade-like, but also really versatile. Let's pop some soda yes, in there you. <laughs> you could use that in so many different things. So many different things. Do you guys go with coffee? Love coffee. You're getting a really robust coffee flavour and aroma but you're not getting the bitterness because essentially we're using a what? cold extraction process. Oh, yeah. So the flavor's more like your cold brew than a shot yeah. of espresso. Mm. That's even better than a normal coffee. That's yes! <laughs> that like, nailed it. delicious. I would put that in my coffee instead of coffee. <laughs> uh, mm. Definitely that is good. Thank you. Well, that was Baker Williams Distillery. Uh, 10 out of 10. That was so cool. Mm. We didn't film too much, um, but this is definitely a place you need to check on your list. So it was $5 for a tasting each, and then we did absolutely love the cafe. Was it the cafe liqueur? The, it was, yeah, the it coffee, was a coffee. coffee it was a coffee liqueur. one. And uh, it was beautiful so we did buy one of those mm. so then that was $44 which dog's just trying to get himself comfortable it's like <laughs> he's not happy with us <laughs> he's literally just shut us out so this is a day in the life of chaos oh jeez always i'm sick of my parents because <laughs> they took me into a place and didn't give me anything Back to us. Anyway, so yes, we did buy one of the coffee liqueurs. Um, I yeah, it's going to be a nice little treat that we're going to savor. Mm. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much Mudgy. Um, I actually think that we mentioned, but we are now in the town of Mudgy. Um, so we did the cheese tasting and come to the distillery. They're all here. Went and had some lunch. Yeah, we got some kebabs for lunch. Look, it's been yeah. a bit of a, a treat yourself day as well. Yeah, we don't do it very often, but. This place just looked incredible and um Mudgy's huge. Yeah. Like it's actually a really big and cool place. It's very old styling. Yeah. Every all the buildings are like old school and old stone and everything like that. Mm. And yeah. It's quite the, busy though. Yeah. It is big and busy. Mudgy is, but yeah. where we were this morning, all those towns were quiet as. Yeah. Yep. We're going to make our way onto camp now. We've booked ourselves a hip camp for the night, which again just looks absolutely stunning out in these hills. So make our way. Yeah. We'll see, see you, there. you there. So we've just pulled up to our camp for the night, and boy, is she a good one. Yep. I, we've got this place to ourselves, and it's a hip camp. I'll um, link it up here. But yeah, it's pretty. Yeah. It's just an open paddock yep. that's nicely mowed. Um, with some fire pits so you can literally just choose a spot they got some table and chairs out bits and pieces there's yeah. no one else here no chaos can have the whole area to roam got views all around us we just need those uh clouds to go away and it might be a nice sunset over there mm. might be nice they might capture some light so yeah chaos has been pretty good he's had a pretty cruisy day today mm. so Back to our, you know, traveling with a dog. I don't think that it is for everybody, and I don't think that every dog would, can do it. Yeah. So we tossed it up um, massively to bring him or not, but he is one of the most cruisiest dogs 
he just goes with the flow he doesn't leave our side he's very well trained um i don't know if he's getting deaf now he is nine but i don't know if he's getting deaf or he just doesn't want to listen sometimes but, sometimes he gets his nose leads him astray and he's just like ah this smells too good yeah but he never he never wanders too far from us he's no. always in sight and like he'll just go for a walk like what he's doing now he just goes for a wander as soon as you call him back Oi. comes on back he looks like such a gumbo yeah. you know obviously there's sacrifices you have to make when you're traveling with a dog like you can't do national parks and that was a big thing for us uh but we plan on traveling for a while so just come back and do them next time mm-hmm but anyway, we're gonna set up camp and mm -hmm. uh, get some tea on. Yeah, having burgers tonight. Yep, Regan's on dinner duty. He found a recipe that he wants to make. I found burgers that I want to make and Carly was going to make the burger patties by hand. Now she doesn't want to. So <laughs> I'm, on, I'm sure I'm on I'll dinner. help. I'm sure I'll help. I'm sure we'll work together. Yeah. But anyway, and so set up camp. Yeah. <laughs> We just had dinner and we just fed Chaos. He's um, all finished, left his dishes on the ground. And I don't know if you can see, but he's in there and he's put himself to bed. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Chaos's daily routine. He gets the good life. Eat, sleep, poop, play. Yep. Multiple times a day. <laughs> yeah, non stop. So, we're just going to sit down for the night. Got a nice little fire going over here. But yeah, we'll see you guys in the morning. Bye. We were supposed to leave here today, but I think we're going to see if we can book again for another night. Just because we don't really want to pack up and drive into a thunderstorm towards Dubbo. So, yeah, I think here is the best spot not supposed to get too much rain here so it might just be a quiet day not really doing much we'll go for a walk out to the front the owners left us some eggs in the wool shed so that's very lovely of them we'll go for a walk out there later on once we think it's safe to because that we're about to get absolutely pissed on so i was just making us some coffee because you know coffee is life So we've been asked to show our kitchen setup. So we've just got tea on and I'm going to show you guys what we normally do. So up here is where I usually prep all the food. Um, so we've already got dinner on, but usually I've got cutting boards and all of our ingredients up there. And then behind the car over here, Regan's got the cooker going. It's a little bit windy tonight, so we've got it behind the car. Mm. We've just got some curry on. And this is the Genesis um, base camp. Works an absolute treat. Regan's making an absolute mess all over the table. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've just got our... So usually we both cook together. So I usually do all the prepping and then Regan will cook. So then while he's cooking, I'll clean up this bench and get it ready for serving. And then, yeah, I've just got our bowls and Greek yogurt to go on top. And that's how we cook. Oh, sorry. And the main part of our kitchen is this little bad boy right here. My absolute favorite thing. It's the Navigator Kitchen Buddy. And it just holds everything. This is all of our utensils. So we've just got two forks, two knives, two spoons. Um, and then we've just got a spatula and stuff like that. And then all of our spices and then more spices our cooking oil can opener and scissors in there and then 
we don't have any at the moment we're out but it's even got this little mandubi wacker down here that you can actually that you can actually clip paper towel onto and it just sits there as well so that is how we cook dinner dinner is served oh yeah that's my one by the way too okay and then nine times out of ten we're usually watching TV while we eat dinner if we don't have a fire going. Carly so we... hates listening to people eat. Yes. So she needs background noise. Yes. That generally means TV with dinner. We can't just sit in silence. No. <laughs> it's got to be TV or music. So we usually just stick the iPad against the fridge and then we'll move our chairs in, have our tea. Koos just lays on his bed while we're having dinner and then he gets fed. Good be. <laughs> So we made it out to Dubbo, uh, we went and checked out a couple of campsites uh, like that were in a reserve on the north side of town and they were pretty shocking, they were overgrown, like I'm talking knee high grass, uh, mm. one of them you couldn't even, there, were, there was two wheel tracks that were the track and then everywhere else was just grass that was up to your knees. So we said no thank you and then drove to the south side of town, um, we're about half an hour out of Dubbo now, and we found the Ponto Falls Reserve, which is a little bit overgrown, um, but the actual like camp spots are pretty well mm. alright. Nice short grass at them, so. Yeah. But it has rough. just started raining. <laughs> yes. So, probably just going to wait for the rain to disappear, and then we'll set up camp, and... I'll jump out set up the awning and well princess waits. no no it's not how it works uh and then it's what's gonna happen though yeah we don't really have much else planned for the, this afternoon uh tomorrow we've got a fun little activity that i did some research and chaos can come with us so i think we'll take you guys along for that and then we'll um wrap this one up i still have no idea what we're doing yeah i haven't told regan what we're doing yet so yeah, we'll um, catch you guys tomorrow. It's good. Bit of a walk around. It's a bit of a wet overgrown course, but it's alright. At least the sun's out shining today, so it was actually really nice to be outside playing around. Yeah. Having a bit of fun. Dog had some fun. That's the name of the game. Yep. But that is gonna be the end of this episode. Mm -hmm. um, hope that you guys enjoyed seeing a bit more of Chaos and how we travel around with him. Uh, just the biggest advice that we can give you is, if you're not sure, ask. There's so many places that we've found that just by asking, we're actually able to bring chaos and things that we never thought we'd be able to do with them. Yeah. So. We're learning every day yeah. and finding that more possibilities are available every day. So it's cool. Yeah. So don't limit yourself by not asking. Nope. And you can travel with a dog. It's 
yes, there are sacrifices, but there are sacrifices for everything in life. So, yeah. I mean, when he just decides he's going to do that. <laughs> it's so much more fun traveling with him. Yeah. <laughs> Stops me and her arguing at each other. Come here. Yeah. So, yeah, if you did like this one, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. And we'll see you next week as we start making our way further to Outback New South Wales. Catch you later. Bye. Ooh, almost hit me. Nailed it. I got eight. I got ten. You know, you got ten. I got eight. You got ten. I got eight. It was ten. That was eight. It was eight. I'll um, link it up here. I can't remember the name of it. <laughs> I think it's called Ellis Main Bush Camp or Ellis Main Camp, something Alice like that. Mine, yeah. yeah, but I'll link it. I'll put it up on the screen right here. It's um. No, you always do it on that side. Oh, I'll put it here or here or there or there. <laughs> um,